I'm going to spend over 100 days in Coalkeeper, and by that, I mean 100 hours. It's a sneak peek of what's to come. Okay, he's here. Yep, he breaks the wall. He really breaks the wall. <laughs> Ooh, what the heck was that? Uh... Dude. Dude. Oh, he's running away. Yo, yo, yo. Oh, some rage come back because there's many signs. No oh, team. Nope. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, okay. That is a hardcore version. I will not be doing that right now. <laughs> oh, I just finished making how he looks, but now we get to choose a class, it seems like. The Nomad seems most interesting because it says it has all the possibilities. So that sounds like some good content. So let's go with that. The goal is to see if we can get everything done in 100 hours. See if we can beat every boss, how far we can get our skill tree. Okay, here we go. Some sick starting animations. Let's just break up some of this wood. Okay, so now that we've gotten wood, we can get some early torches now. There are a bunch of statues all around here, which all relate to the bosses of this game. So I'm excited to get a little bit further this time. So let's start this journey. Start the workbench. But it looks like it's glowing over here, so I think that might mean there's some copper over here. There we go, our first bit of copper ore. Nice. Yo, my eyes look so scary. Since I chose red eyes, I look like a vampire in the darkness. <laughs> oh my god. I will suck your blood. I don't just ignore that. I didn't say it. Just move on. Alright, so the furnace is done smelting now. So we got 11 copper bars. We can make a copper pickaxe, shovel, sword, and hoe. Let's go with the hoe so we can start getting food early on. Because I know that food is a little bit of a problem. So I don't have a whole lot, but I do have one root seed, which I believe that's growing wood, so we can replenish that. And then stick some wood in it. I don't... That sounds weird. So let's continue mining and see if we find anything cool. Oh, I was just mining some copper ore. But the chat just said I have a new skill point. I put one point into efficient excavation. So it seems like every five you get one point for it. And you get to choose which way to go. It looks like there's some sort of berry down there. Let's see what it is. A bomb pepper and a glow tulip. Oh, so we got some seeds. So you can put some more stuff to smell. So that'll be great. Oh, we found some sand. That's a f I've never seen that before. Oh, the screen's starting to shake a little bit. I know that that means <laughs> there's a boss nearby. Oh, 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 okay. I just walked and sat and nearly died. There's a spiked slime. I've never seen that before. You got some slime. Thick. Let's beat these guys up. There we go. Easy enough. And we got a heart berry seed. Tons of seeds we can start farming when we get back home. Whoa, this generation is wild. New item, turf wall. Oh, so this green stuff is called turf? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, look at all these boxes. I'm pretty sure if we break these. Yeah, look, we got fiber and a bomb. Yo, we're gonna have to test that out later. Oh, we have another talent point in mining. Oh, wait, no, it's in running. Oh, so now we use less food when we're running. Okay, that's it. Okay, so I made a little farm here, but we're really running low on food. So I'm gonna use this copper that we just got to get a cooking pot. And now we can just throw things together and make some food. And then now we can also get the watering can so we can actually let our crops grow. I'm like so low on food. Six out of ten. All right, so here's our first set of food. Spicy tulip salad. Okay, so let's make a copper anvil. Oh, we can make wooden armor with it. Okay. <laughs> that helmet still looks really funny. Okay, so we've made it back. So hopefully we can find some cool stuff. Oh, we have a new talent point for mining. Now we mine even faster. Oh, copper breaks in two now. It was breaking in like four before, I think. Maybe it was three. I can't remember. Either way, it's definitely faster some boxes oh a mechanical part new item ring of stone what did i get i can equip that and it gives me a lot of more mining damage i have no idea where i got that from maybe it's just a lucky drop from the walls oh we got tin from those boxes okay that's pretty nice we're running out of space though i don't really know what to do about that i guess that means we could try out this bomb to clear up an inventory slot so let's just throw it right here and see what it does that was that was a little bit anticlimactic, not gonna lie. Okay, so I built a little path between these two areas to get over the water. Because I think this is where the shaking is coming from. That happens around this area. Oh, this is a big open space. Could this be where he is? Oh, damn, our pickaxe broke. Okay, that sucks. Okay, so I made it back home. And it looks like our crops are ready for harvesting. So we actually ran out of space in this area. So I cleared out this one. Oh, and our wood started to grow. So it looks like that's the core. And the wood grows out of that. And then we could harvest wood from around it. And I had enough copper so that we could actually make a lantern. And now you can see there's a slight glow around me. So that'll be really helpful for seeing when we run out of the torches. 
That's all you eat for all this food and stuff to smelt. I think I'm gonna start digging out like this area over here. And I know that we can make wood walls and floors and doors and all of that stuff. Damn, that rhymed. That was kind of cool. Anyways, so let's see if we could like make a nice starter base. All right, so I used an entire pickaxe and cleared out a massive area here. So now you can see how much I dug out here. Took a little while, but... And there's also water here too. So we're gonna have to walk very far to get some refills. All right, well, I guess we should start off by making a bunch of wooden walls and a bunch of wooden floor a couple doors and maybe a couple bridges let's see what the how these walls and stuff work okay so it's 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 a wall i expected as much i don't know if what i was expecting hmm so i made a little thing here a little start base hey <laughs> so i got a little bit carried away but now the house looks a lot better this me a little wood area back over here i'm actually out of wood completely have a nice little dock here for fishing, which isn't in the game yet. It'll be in the game in the early access, which is in March, I believe. And then I also set up like a little path, a little better setup than whatever this is. So I think we should head over and see if we could find that boss. And I think I might know where it is. Oh, what's that? Ancient gemstone. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that it? That's it. We found it. I believe its name is Glurge the Abominous Mass or something like that. I can't remember. Okay, we're gonna do this. So let's get this max health. Let's get the speed. Oh god, that's not a good... That's really not a good... St oh god, what am I doing? Okay, <laughs> not the best of starts. Okay, he's here. Yep, he breaks the wall. He really breaks the wall. <laughs> and I think you can't actually go too far away or he starts running away from you. You have to, like, stay kind of close. Okay, this extra movement speed is really helping. Oh, is this second form? Yep, that's a second form. That's definitely a second form. Oh my... Damn it! He was so close. Oh my god. We could have definitely won that though. 100%. I'm going straight back in. Okay, already half health. That's really good. I haven't gone hit once. Never mind. Okay, second form. Oh, oh, I'm moving. Oh! Let's go. <laughs> oh god. The endigo always gets scary. He attacks so fast. Was that a chest? Ooh, there's a guy. I forgot about this. So you can buy things from him for gold. And you could also sell things for gold. And then the chest. Slime oil. A jar filled with slime essence. Used for bed care. Place it in a habitable room. And a bearded character may move in. Oh, you can, move, you can get characters? Oh god, I'm dying. Oh god. Okay, let's head back home. Oh, that, he's gonna move in. Okay, I get it now. <laughs> and then we also got the Glurch Eye. So I guess we just place this slime oil, like, right there. And I guess he'll move in. And then let's check that statue over here. This one, it looks just like him. So I'm assuming we can put this here. There we go. So we can make the slime sword. Hive Mother Scanner. Scans the world for the Hive Mother. Okay. The ancient gemstones and mechanical parts. We might be able to make that. I don't think we have enough yet, though. And then Gom the Devourer scanner. So these scan for the two new bosses. But we do have enough fiber to make a bed now. So let's make a nice little bed. Put it in the corner here. What does it do? Oh, it also gives you 0.5 health every second. So it can heal you. Oh, so I just got an extra point in gardening. And the rank is 5% chance to gain a seed when harvesting plants. Okay, so that'll increase it by a lot. Well, let's continue going down this way. Oh, I completely forgot about these. So if you have a shovel and you see these X's, you can actually dig them up. And this time we got a twisted a gate, which is valuable. So I assume that means we sell it to the bearded guy. Okay, so I came back home and dealt with all the crops and stuff like that. Planted some more wood. So our next goal, I think, would be to try and get into a different biome. Alright, so here looks like it goes somewhere special. So we just build. Oh, that looks like... Is this tin? Yes, and it's clay wall, so it's definitely new. Because we're only ever getting tin from um the boxes before. Now we're actually getting it in the wall. Damn, these walls are a lot harder to go through. You take four swings instead. Jeez. Right, so now we're finding tin a lot easier. Which I'm assuming we can make tin tools and stuff. Because there's a tin crafting bench you can make. We'll definitely have to check that. Whoa. Ew, are those maggots? Oh, look at the walls. They look like maggoty. Let's just go over there and check. Oh, I was on my way there. And we found this. What is this? Ew. There's like a bunch of bones all over the floor. 
Oh, it leads into here. Oh god. Oh god. The charger got me. Oh no. Please, please, please. Please. Gee, oh, it's so gross. Ooh. Quite easy though. Oh. Lava meat. Oh. Are you seeing that shake? That's definitely a new boss already. Oh. Okay. Let's see what this gold stuff is. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell? It just got Oh my god. These guys are insane. What is this? I got a skull. My god, they give me a heart attack. I didn't expect this thing to start moving. Ew. I hate it. I hate it. That's horrible. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Chill, 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 chill. Oh. Oh, I got a new seed, but I'm, I'm getting hit by spikes. Is that just like a spike trap on the floor? Can I pick it up? Oh. Oh, down. We're out of space already. Hive spike trap. Okay. That means we could theoretically farm things if we place those down. It looked like it was attacking the lava too. So does it mean we can make like a slime farm? These guys won't give me a break, bro. What is that? Let's just head down to that thing. That looks insane. What? Oh, oh, oh. This poison stuff hurts. Okay. It seems like I actually need a battle pickaxe before I can go on. Okay, so let's... I'm just going to get a bunch of tin quick. And then we'll head back home and see if we get some new upgrades. Okay, so it's been a little bit. Uh, we have these new seeds here. So I don't know what these are. Okay, so this gives you fiber. Okay, okay. That's cool. And then I also set this thing up. I'm not sure if it works. Because the theory is that... Because these yellow... These orange things spawn in the slimes. And then these yellow ones do damage. And then the spike that we found earlier as well. So the, the theory is that they'll spawn and then they'll just die over time when we get seeds that way. Because they drop seeds sometimes. But I've only seen one and it didn't die. I had to kill it. So... Still trying to figure that out. But now we have 39 tin bars. Which is quite a lot of tin. So now we can make a basic workbench and now we have a tin workbench so look at this tons of new stuff an alchemy table painter's table then there's an iron workbench okay well let's just get started with a tin anvil which gives us access to bronze armor let's get straight into a tin pickaxe and a tin sword and that's basically all we can make we need more tin but that's really cool a lot to look forward to and then also, we can come over to this thing. And we just need two more tin bars to get a slime sword. And then we have enough mechanical parts and ancient gemstones to get one of these scanners. So let's go with Gorm the Devourer scanner, because that looks cool. I don't know how it works, but let's just use it. What does it do? Oh, all the way in that direction. Okay, so he's very far to the left. Like, very far to the left. Okay, okay. So before we go that way to find him, we found the other boss over here. We just needed the better pickaxe. A bunch more tin so we could fight the, the new boss. boss. I'm so excited to fight that boss. We're definitely going to fight that. Screen enough of the chit chat. Let's head back over to that new biome. All right, so we are back over here. Okay, so there's that big room. So the new tin pickaxe should. Damn, not even tin lets us mine through this. We can't actually mine through there yet. But luckily, I used the scanner on this guy. He's just moving around in a circle around me. Maybe we'll head back to the base and head to the left side. And then on that side, we'll mine like all the way out. And eventually, we'll have to catch him in like one area, right? Like. You'll have to come there eventually. Okay, so now we're back home. I guess we just go this way as far as I can. <laughs> Wait, look at this. This this ground is different. It's actually stone bridges. Oh, what is that? Look at those red eyes. Oh, wait to find out what those are. That looks so creepy. Oh my god. All right, I think we're about to break into where they are. There has to be some sort of cave or something here. Oh, they're goblins. Oh, oh that looks sick. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay. They drop mechanical parts. They're fighting with a pickaxe. That means they're miners. Mine all day, a mine all night. What is this on your floor? Paveling bread. Dry hard bread. Ew. Why would I need that? These guys look sick though. Just out maneuvering. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, what the heck was that? Uh, is he breaking it? Oh, oh God, that's uh, that's a big guy. I feel like if I get hit by that, that'll be destructive. Okay, Ooh, that was easy enough. He just dropped wood. What the hell? Come on. All that work for some wood. Oh, is that a railway system? Ooh, some boxes. Oh, what's that? Oh, my inventory is so full. Get away, one Beppo. An air plate. Okay. 
What is this big rock? Can I break this? I need a drill for this. Okay, so apparently there are drills. <laughs> oh, a pickaxe broke. Okay, I, I guess that means it's time for us to head back home. Oh, so I just made it back. And I was trying to plant these Karok seeds. But it seems like we can't actually plant it in the dirt. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, that's good to know. So I have the rest of the iron melting up here. And then we'll check and see what we could do with it when that's done. So I've only just realized that there's an iron workbench, which needs 20 iron. Which we do have, but I'm not sure if we'll actually be able to do anything with it. <laughs> oh, but to make an iron workbench, we need a tin workbench. So I need even more tin anyways. So I'm going to go mine up some tin for a bit. And then I'll come back when we're done. So let's start looking for some tin. Whoa, what is this place? It has like some weird ground. It's just normal dirt ground, but is it tilled? It's very interesting. I'm not sure. I don't know. Well, back to mining. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, oh, look at it. Oh, it's me. Oh, okay. Well, we know how it works now. That looked really creepy <laughs> okay well i know how we're supposed to fight it <laughs> i know what we're doing in today's episode i can tell you that much <laughs> what is this there's some more spike traps here but look the room that's what the room we saw earlier was that we couldn't get into but now we can oh <laughs> what is this it's a chest a lava ring immune to being slowed from slime Grub not. A mutated lump of small grubs? Ew. Oh god, the thing is back. Did you try and fight it? Wait. Oh, I hit it. Wait, I hit it. It didn't stop. Wait. If it doesn't stop, how am I meant to fight it? I thought it was gonna like be like, oh, you hit me. Well, I guess now is your time to die. <laughs> but nah, you just like, okay, that's cool. I'm gonna be on my way now. So I wonder if he regens by the time he comes back. Or if we have to try and find a way to stop him. Well, there he is. Nope, he doesn't. Oh, oh, he did it in my entire health. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm sorry. But that also means I have no idea how we stop that thing. Maybe we <laughs> can we leave the entire ground with spikes? And then he just runs over there and dies. But I think it's about time we head back home and try to see what we do next. I said let's walk back home like it was some easy task. That took forever. But we came back with 64 tin, which I think is pretty damn good. So the very first thing I think we're going to make now has to be the, the slime, slime sword. sword. Which, not going to lie, doesn't seem that amazing. And the durability is only slightly higher. So next, I want to make this alchemy table. I'm really interested to see what it does. So we can make healing potions, enrage potions, thorn skin potions. We can now make the bombs and we can make an actual good bomb. And I've been complaining about backpack space. So now it's a good thing that we can make a backpack, which gives eight extra slots. Look at that. That'll be so helpful because, geez, that was annoying. <laughs> I would definitely like to just get bronze armor, but that requires quite a bit of tin. But we can get a slingshot, which I'm definitely going to make. Okay, this is like a little pointer and then you, you shoot. Nice. Okay, so we got all the tin we need, which, well, not all the tin we need, all the tin we have being 45. So we should make bronze armor, but I just came to like a thought that these bombs do about 300 damage. And then also we could make a bunch of spike drops. Plus we have all the other spike drops we used. So I think it might be worth it for us to just make a bunch of bombs, a bunch of traps, and then just go with it from there. So 19 spike traps, 14 bombs, 16 hive spike trap. So I think I'm just going to try it with what we have and see what happens. So let's just go. Okay, so he made it back. And he's actually on his way down right now. I'm really hoping this works out because otherwise I've just wasted every single piece of tin I have. So we got a bunch of traps on that side. And uh, now we have a bunch of traps on this side. And then we have the bombs. That's... That's our plan. <laughs> I don't know how well this is going to go. I'm quite scared. I'm not even going to lie. So it looks like he's nearly here. So we have to probably place the bombs a little bit early. Okay, he's nearly here. Let's go. He's going to start placing them. Oh, oh, did it win? Did it do it? Oh, he's running away. Yo, yo, yo. No. Oh, my God. That was so doable, though. Oh, that was actually so doable. Oh, my God. Oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. My heart is racing. Oh, if we had more bombs, we would have actually done that, I think. All right, we're here. Is he still here? He's still here. That's my stuff. There it is. He's healing, though. He's breaking all the traps. No. Damn. Okay. Okay, we made it back, but he's probably on like full health by now. And I'm assuming when he is full health, he was just gonna go back to running around. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Oh my god. Yeah, I may have to go on another mining trip and get a bunch more tin. Oh yeah, look, he's moving again. 
Dude, I'm using back to full health. Damn, that sucks. Okay. Well, we do know it can work though. He got really low from those bombs. So I might just have to spend like literally an hour just mining. Yeah, I just got all my stuff back and all the traps are gone. He literally broke all of them. So I'm just going to go back to hitting all this tin and wish me luck. <laughs> so it's been a while, but I found something new. A giant mushroom. But this giant one gives you 25 permanent max health. Boom, 25 max health. Let's go. <laughs> okay, I'll be back on my way of mining forever. Okay, so I just dug up one of the X's in the ground. And we got our first necklace. The Hotberry Necklace, which heals us 0.5 every second, which isn't much. But it does mean that we can actually heal without needing to eat, which is quite massive. Okay, so we're back home. And I decided that I wanted to make the Iron Workbench. Just to see if there's like anything really important that we could use to kill the boss a little bit easier. So I spent a lot, but let's move everything down. Iron Workbench. Okay, tons of new stuff here. So a bunch of stone stuff for the base that we don't really care about. A smelter kiln can melt valuable ores. So I assume that's the gold because we've been finding gold all this time. Photography, electronics, and scarlet workbench, which we can't use yet. Jewelry workbench, which crafts rings and stuff. That's very interesting. And then just a bunch of iron stuff. So honestly, the answer is no. <laughs> there's nothing really that useful from that that I can see. Maybe there might be something in the iron workbench, but we can't even make that yet, so... I mean the iron anvil because we need 10 iron and to be honest i'm really focused on 10 right now so i don't know about that and then the jewelry workbench might be good too but we need the gold which means we need the smelter kiln which oh, that's a lot so back to mining i go yay <laughs> so it's been a while and i haven't really gotten much else other than this the grub egg necklace which actually would allow us to get the two set bonus that lets us walk fast on slime. So that could be quite helpful. But for right now, oh god. I also uh, don't have a sword because mine broke. <laughs> so I guess we're fighting this guy without a sword now. Okay, that hurts. Okay, let, let's be civil about this, bro. Okay, uh, he's dead. Cool. Well, back to mining. <laughs> what the hell is that? There's a house here. That's the first time I found a house. This must be rare. There's a ton of crates for me to break in here. What is this? A pedestal okay some torches i probably don't need to take these pedestals and stuff now that i think about it because you probably make it with the carpenter table that we just decided not to make oh a new slingshot as well a healing potion some copper okay nothing too insane but it's definitely cool i'll be taking that healing potion because that could be very helpful later on that's a cool find though i actually enjoyed that i love finding unexpected things Look, another house. The hell? How do we find two so close to each other? We didn't find any this whole time. That's weird. This one's definitely bigger. A bunch of boxes, really. Another chest? Maybe this one has something? Ooh, a recall idol. Teleports you back to the core, but it's consumed in the process. Okay. I was wondering if they had anything like that in this game. And there's like carpet on the floor. That's really cool. So there's tons of stuff we can use for decorations later on. I'm assuming with the carpenter table and stuff like that. You could definitely make some really cool builds if you wanted to. Which I probably will do eventually. Right now I'm having fun just exploring and stuff though. Okay, <laughs> so it's been a long time. But we did a lot of mining. So check this out. 200 tin bars. <laughs> that is a lot of tin. And I also saved up 70 bomb peppers. So now... Just need some slime, which I have tons of. 229. So let's just make a bunch of bombs. 23 bombs. And then on top of that, we can make these spike traps. 77. Will we need more than 77 spike traps, bro? There's no way. And oh, oh look, look. You could, we can see all of these growing in now. That's sick. We're going to have a lot more bomb berries. So we can make even more bombs. We're going to destroy this thing. But I don't want to underprepare again because I've spent way too much time getting all this stuff. So <laughs> I'm not going through that again. I refuse. So since we have a lot more tin left, might actually be worth it for us to make some upgrades. Being the bronze armor. There we go. We have actual good armor now. Oh, that looks sick. Look at me. Damn. Okay, so I've got to get all of these stuff. And let's see how much more bombs you can make. 14 more bombs. That is 37 bombs and about 100 traps. There is absolutely no way that is not enough. All right, well, let's head back to that place and set up all this stuff. All right, so we made it back. 
and I think I'm going to clear out some more of this slime just so we have a little bit more movement and then I'll place the traps after. Okay, so he just replaces all of it. Ooh. <laughs> I would cut out a feel like you would. Wow, we have so much traps, bro. Oh, <laughs> that poor slime. I'm glad I could walk over it without like dying though. Okay, look at these traps, bro. That is insane. And then I also brought the healing potion that we got from our chest. So if we really need to, we can. But I think we're ready. Forte bombs. All of these traps, like so much. Nine extra crude bombs in worst case scenario. There's absolutely no way we don't win this. All right, he's nearly here. Let's do this. There he is. We're right there. Oh God, I'm so nervous. Oh God. Oh. No, no. Let's go. Did we kill him? Oh my God, we got him. We got him. Oh, 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 my God. Wait, wait, wait. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back. Oh, I killed him. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, oh, oh. The bombs turned up, of course, early. Oh, that could have probably gone so much better, but I don't want to blow up all the traps, so I had to put the bombs a little bit in front. Oh, my God, this is He's dead. Oh, oh, that was so sick. Oh, my God. Okay, <laughs> okay. Oh, I was so nervous. We used so much bombs. I'm so glad I decided to go for this armor because I think that might actually be the reason we won. Like, genuinely. Oh, ho, ho, ho. there's the chest. Oh, ho, ho. let's go. Let's see. Mysterious idol may attract someone looking for mysterious idols. Okay. Five iron, some gemstones, Gorm's horn. So you can put that into the statue to, to get a bunch of new crafting things. Some lava meat. And Gorm's stomach bag. You plus ten inventory slots. Oh, so it's just two more than this backpack. Okay. Not too bad at all. And then we kept a bunch of the traps too. I'm gonna pick all of these traps up and then let's head back home and see what we can make. Okay, so we made it back home. I still don't even know if this thing works because it never actually said this guy moved in. Because all he did was just walk up. Maybe that's why he walked up. I don't really see the points of this guy, but whatever. So I guess. We just placed the mysterious idol like i don't i don't actually know i guess someone might move in okay let's check and see what new stuff we can make with this drop from him is it this one gorm the devourer gorm's horn oh ho, ho. our pace helm not gonna lie that set bonus is kind of garbage 24 percent damage is a lot but after mining a wall whatever <laughs> am i gonna sit there in the middle of the fight mine a wall and then fight okay oh and this is how we make the recall idol Ancient gemstones and mechanical parts. Okay, that's great. So now we just have one more boss to get, which is actually, I don't even know if it's in the game yet, to be honest, but we can make the Hive Mother Scanner. So I guess that'll tell me. So let's check that. All right, Hive Mother Scanner. Oh, it's scanning. Oh, she's out there. Okay, 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 okay. In two seconds and I think I found something interesting. I saw that thing. What is this thing? Whoa, ho, ho. Hey, chill, 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 bro. Oh, I can break this shot. Battle axe. Yo, oh, 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 chill. I was checking out my battle axe, bro. Damn, relax. That does more damage. That's just like almost double damage of my slime sword. What the hell? Let's test it on this guy. <laughs> bro, destroyed him. <laughs> oh, I got a new item. I got a new item. Hand motor. Oh, that, that does so much damage. Oh, I killed one of them when he dropped his fireball stuff. Yo, let's test this out one time. That is so sick. Crystal skull shard? Bro, I don't have space for all this stuff. Right, so I put all this stuff to smelt, but look at this. This actually works now. Look at what is that? What is this? Red slime figurine? What is that? So iron anvil. Iron armor. Then the electronics table. Electricity generator. Electrical doors. And then we can make this stuff, all the amulets and things and stuff. All right, well, let's do one last trip in that area. Yo, what is this? Is there an intro? Why? Uh <coughs> okay, so I have been following this wall for a very long time, as you can see. But we're really far from home, so let's test how this recall idol work. Okay, let's check the animation at the start of the game. That's sick, okay? That's nice and fast. Okay, so our next goal is 100% going to be make a new base.
So it's been many, many hours, as you can see. I'm really proud of how it's coming along. We have wood, we have food. This place just looks cool. Then we have a two head. We got the new NPC, a flintlock musket, which I might want to buy. And then summoning idols. So we can actually refight bosses, which is actually sick. And now, if we take some iron, some gold, and then a bit of fiber, iron armor. Damn, I'm looking nice though. Okay, so you have 536 in total. Which means we can buy the flintlock musket. Well, it, it works about as expected. It's it's a musket. All right, now let's head up to that boss. All right, so now that we're here, we just have to figure out how to get in, which is actually quite hard because these walls here cannot be broken. Golden lava meat. Guess I'll be saving that. I don't know. Wait, oh, I finally found the entrance. Oh my, I didn't even realize. It's been literally hours. So Ready? I just hit it. Okay, I hit it. This is our stone skin. No food. I'm gonna keep using the fire thing so this damage over time. Oh god, oh god. Half health. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay, damn these high vex. Come on, okay, I killed one. That's a lot. Oh my. Oh, there's so much of that slowdown stuff everywhere. Okay, okay, we're doing really well though. No, no, no. Health potion, health potion. Okay, 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 that was close. I did the health potion. No, 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 no. Come on, just kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, please, please. Please, please, oh, 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 oh my. Okay, that got way too intense towards the end. Holy crap. This chest has absolutely nothing other than the high, hard, blah, other than the hard to the hive mother. That took way longer than I wanted, but <laughs> let's put this thing straight in. Okay, the lava spike club. Grub Zooka. Ancient hologram pod. Let's check that out. And what does this do now? Oh. Oh, what the hell? What did it do? Oh, it just says the same thing again. Okay. What is that? Azeos, the Sky Titan. Someone assuming that's a new boss. <laughs> and then a large, shiny, glimmering object. That's a lot of stuff needed for both those. Ancient feathers. I wonder you get ancient feathers. So I left this thing active for a few hours. And look how much stuff there is. Oh my. <laughs> also, off camera, I talked to this guy again because I thought it was weird he didn't say anything else. And he had more dialogue if you continue talking to him. And basically he did this weird soul thing. And now we have souls. So this wall that we found over here earlier, I'm assuming it got dropped now. Alright, so I come up on the wall here and... Oh! Yo, let's go. Oh, a new. Oh, how do I? I don't think I can break this. Okay, I cannot find a way into this thing. So let's talk to the core again. Oh, the Titan as your saw is high in the light of the sun to the south. Well, I guess we're heading south. <laughs> Whoa, what is this? I just picked up a swift feather off the floor. Dash forward. Ooh, this is definitely new. Oh, what is this guy? Oh, God, he's shooting at me. Ow, ow, okay, 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 chill guys, hey guys, chill, 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 Oh, is this like a little area of this? Hey bro, hey, 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 chill, 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 chill. Yeah, I'm not messing with you guys. Whoa, is it a purple slime? Where does that spawn from? Ooh, it drops poison slime. Oh, ancient feather, that, 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 that's the thing we need for one of the crafting recipes. I can't remember which one. I remember seeing it. Ooh, what is this place? Old spore mask. It's just valuable. What, what is this? Well, I broke it. <laughs> I hope that wasn't important. <laughs> Ooh, what is this thing? Assuming we have to dig up the grave, that's kind of... <laughs> I don't think we should, like, defile some random person's graves. Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Let's do it anyways. Of course I am! <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Caveling Mother's Ring and a Caveling Doll. This thing looks cool, what is this? Oh, 17% reduced damage from bosses. That's actually really good. I also found this other one, which is immune to poison, which I'm assuming the next boss is gonna do poison damage, so... Speaking of bosses... I just felt a sh- oh, like that. There's a shake. I think that might be him here. Yep. Yeah, we're not fighting that now. I will lose. And we have nothing Scarlet yet. I think that means it's time to head back home. Okay, so it's been a while. And these are still cooking. These take a very long time. But for now, we can make the Scarlet workbench. Okay, let's see what new stuff there is. Scarlet dagger. Okay, and then Scarlet armor. Okay, so this, we can make conveyor belts. Which I think that could be really useful. 
a drill then a robot arm distillery table uh some better potions so in theory if i put the drill like this put that like that does it break the wood Ooh, it breaks wood we could automate wood now i'm definitely gonna do that 100 percent so can i buy this thing from him now well there we go i don't have the components okay so i need to get Broken handle, chip blade, clay gemstone, 50 iron bars, 10 gemstones. Okay, so it's really just that three other stuff. Okay, so actually, it seems like we can make full scarlet armor. So let's just try fighting it now, but I forgot to get potions and stuff. So yeah, let's go and try that stuff. All right, so here we are. Let's let's get ready. I'm assuming this guy does poison damage. I also made 10 large bombs to test out. I, I was using the dog on the way here. It seemed kind of useless, to be honest. So I'm going to not use it. I think the remote immune to poison might actually be really good. So as you can see, when I'm on this stuff without it, that's 75% reduced healing. Okay, okay. Oh god, this is not a good start. That hit half my health in one hit. Oh, what is he doing? Okay, just cold things down from the sky. That's cool. Let's use some rage combat because there's mini slimes now too. No, he's healing, he's healing, he's healing. Damn it, damn it. I went too far, I went too far, I went too far. Let's try this bombs. Oh, oh, no. Oh my god, the bombs were too strong, bro. I'm not using those bombs again. That's for sure. <laughs> no, he's so close, bro. Oh god, okay, this is pushing. Okay, he's enraged. Oh, okay. Okay. I couldn't even speak, bro. My heart. Oh, my. Okay, I had to, like, hyper-focus for that ending. Okay. I beat him, and we got, like, nothing for it. Oh, what the hell is that thing? Oh, oh, ow, ow, oh, it stunned me. It stunned me. What is this place? Oh, well, they didn't drop anything. Is this a new bar? Oh, my God. Look how much there is. Holy. Oh, wait, they dropped something. Moldering. 13% crit chance. 23.7 range damage. Oh, oh god, oh god. Well, I instantly died. That, that thing stunned me. That's so unfair. That plant thing, it hit me and stunned me, and then I just got destroyed as soon as I stopped recording. Okay, I'm getting out of this place. This place sucks. Oh, look. There's one of those thingies. But in order to... It, this place is similar to the worm place, and that you can't actually, like, destroy it, I don't think. Let's see if I just held it there for a while. Maybe it'll get destroyed. I don't think it gets destroyed, guys. <laughs> okay, 10 years later, and I've made it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what's in this chest. This is the biggest waste of time ever in existence. What? So I cut out one of the rock pizza slices, because I guess I have a pizza slice farm. And I put in a mold version, so we could put in for fungi, which is a new plant that you could use to do some stuff. So yeah, I did that quick. Okay, so it says it can be seen from a far distance. So I'm assuming that means it can be seen by the bird. Oh, damn. He was... Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I went the completely wrong way looking for him. All right. Here we are. Oh, okay. So that can happen as well, apparently. I think we're ready. I guess we just put it down. Oh, my. Okay, it was instant. It was instant. I think it was going to be instant. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. It's a, it's a bullet hell. It's a bullet hell. It's a bullet hell. I played bullet hells. I know what I'm doing. What are those things? I don't know what those are. Okay, okay. I know how to dodge things. I've played video games before. Oh god, it's healing. Why is it healing? I swear it is. Is it not? Wait, do I have to mine this stuff? Yeah, I mined it. I don't know if I'm supposed to. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I think this is healing it. Okay, I think that's what was healing it. Yep, look at its health. No, I can't reach those. Okay, I'm just gonna have to hit it. No, that one. Where my bridges? Ow, ow, ow. Okay, I broke them. Where's the bird? The back guy. Oh, ow, 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 ow. Okay, my last piece of food. Good food, that is. Okay, so definitely bring bridges to this fight, or else you'd be having a much harder time. <laughs> and a good pickaxe. Oh god, okay, 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 okay. Getting one tenth. Uh, he's dead, he's so dead. I just have to sit there, I just have to sit there. Let's go. That was easy. That's the easiest fight in the game. Let's go. Oh, oh, that's his soul. Ooh. Jeez. 10% chance to spawn a thunder beam on melee critical hits. Ooh, so crits are good. Good thing I have the crits armor. This thing we're gonna have to just get like some crit rings and stuff. I'm sure those must exist. Some scarlet, ancient gemstone, and a sky ring. Oh, crit, crit, yeah, crit. Well, yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice. 
So I'm assuming if we make another one of those thingies, the thing, the, the giant thing, another bird will come and it might have more drops. I'm not sure because I heard that a lot of the bosses actually have some special drops that I have never gotten. Next, I decided to explore the stone biome. As I knew, there were many more things to find in there. Ooh, I found something new. These are the unbreakable walls, but I guess there's an entrance to the unbreakable walls. What's oh, a maze? I have to try and find the chest. Now I went on a maze since that one Minecraft video I did. On the SMP. Oh, there you go. Easy. There's two pedestals with nothing in it. And some potions. Yay, I guess. Hmm. I was kind of hoping for, like, something. <laughs> like, just something at all. But, I guess. So it seems I have found another maze. Oh, God, I'm getting ambushed. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, there's another maze. This one is, like, infested, though. This is a massive maze. Damn. I'm trying to find the entrance. I have no idea where it is. Bro, look at the size of this thing. It's way bigger than the other maze. Bro, I'm still going. Okay, we found the entrance. There we go. Look how... Oh, my. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Yeah, I love mazes. Mazes are so fun. Yeah, especially mazes filled with things trying to kill me. Oh, whoa. Look at all that stuff in there. Did a chest break or something? It looks like one of these miners might have, like, broke a chest by accident or something. Okay, finally made it to the center. Tons of pots to break, like, damn. Let's see. I got some of it. <laughs> I got another broken handle. I have two. Oracle card aura. Whatever that means. Okay, cool. That was cool. Nothing too insane. I would have been hyped for a broken handle, but I got one already, which I think is actually really rare to get one not from a maze. I think I heard that somewhere. But I got a little bit lucky there. <laughs> But yeah, maybe I'll find another maze. Who knows? I need to get all of these because I think you can make like the best sword in the game once you get all the parts for it. That's what the parchment is for, right? That we bought earlier. Oh so yeah. Ooh, what is this thing? Finding new things is always so hype. Like, look how much I've been mining looking for new things. I heard this stuff places a lot. What do I do with this thing? Do I just break it? Oh yeah, I guess I just break it. Oh, what is that? Oh god, my inventory. Amber lava. Ooh, 50 permanent max hell. Damn, I wonder what I should cook that with. That's sick. Aha, another maze. Wow, that was so great. Anyways, <laughs> these small mazes are useless. Then, I decided to make a wood farm, but I've already made a video about that, so I won't talk about it here. Okay, so now that we have enough of these crystal skull shards, now we just right click it, get the school animation. There we go. In the skull of the corrupted shaman. What do you do with that? I don't know. But we have it. That's all that matters, I guess. But this thing here, we have the broken handle. We just need chipped blades and clear gemstone. I have no idea where we get that stuff. Yes, we'll find it eventually. But I've just learned. So uh, this place I passed by a lot earlier. Look, this is, it looks like there's nothing here, right? Look, but this pad of soul that's being blocked by the tree. Ancient pickaxe. The best pickaxe in the game was just chilling there it's so much better than the scarlet pickaxe too like so much better it breaks this wall in one bro i just realized i think this might actually be the last boss look look that, that looks like a boss sigil so let's just place it yep we go oh, straight off the bat damn okay 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 he hurts oh 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 god okay let's get him he's not dead come on, come on. there we go Whew, they are close towards Surprise, the end <laughs> oh wait 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 what 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 excuse what <laughs> I just got hit with the Uno reverse god. <laughs> what the hell? I did not see that coming. I, I didn't even know how to react. I just died. <laughs> oh my. Okay. So is he still here or... Oh, he is. I probably bought more food. Oh god. Ooh, I got that, that proc. There we go. Pro okay, I guess he reversed it. I did not realize. What? He reversed it again? Oh man. Okay. This is more difficult than I thought it would be. That's for sure. Okay, I'm gonna prepare some food. Okay, let's try this again. I got more food this time. Bro, how did he start it off like that? Oh god. Okay, okay, okay. This so much fire everywhere. Whew. The amount of difference a little bit of food can make. Damn, I just actually prepared properly this time when it was not that hard in the fire. Oh, what is this? Blue leather tome. There's a three set. Skull necklace, skull ring, blue leather tome. All neighbor and these burpers seventy percent with full set. Oh, you just put it there. That's it. It just gives me 21% range damage. Okay, I guess. This is not horrible. If I really want to use range. If I want to use range, I'll get a blow pipe though. I really want to get a blow pipe, but apparently the drops are not good because I've been trying to get it from those guys in the mold. I just cannot get it. So annoying. Well, I guess I'll be grinding that guy as well. I have to grind every boss. I think every boss has something I don't have. So I'll be grinding them eventually. But yeah. Oh, what's this thing? Ooh, it has like a... I need to put something in it, it looks like. Wait, I think I heard about this. Oh, I don't have one. Is there one nearby? I think I saw one just now. Damn it. I swear I did. There we go. I think someone said that he put a glow tube. I feel like I saw someone talking about this. It does look like it could use a glow tulip. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, okay. Uh, what is this? 
We got a base, a recall idol. Oh, chip blade, let's go. Oh, I found the chip blade, that's hype. And then a gold crystal necklace. That's, that's, that's really useless, bro. Come on now. But yeah, that's hype though. That's actually really hype. I did a ton of exploring in the wilderness and I was able to get all the parts to make the rune song, the best sword in the game that has no durability. It's great. Then I took some time and made my house way better by adding an auto mob farm, which I also made a video about. And then I did a couple other base changes. And I even made a railway system to every single boss on the map. And then I proceeded to farm every boss using that railway system for my boss farming video. So let's do a quick check in on how my base is at current and what kind of gear I'm using. So I have like a bunch of statues here, some pretty rare ones. And then I have a minecart, like I said, that goes to every boss. Well, there's no boss over here, so this is just like that biome. But this one takes me down to Malaga's, straight to the wilderness and the moss biome, all the way down to Ivy, which is really far. I hated doing that. And then all the way to Azeus. And these two take me down to Gorm and take me up to Hive Mother. So when I want to farm them, it's really easy. Then I've done a little bit of an entrance here, a little bridge. Could do some fishing. I have a little base for this guy. Have some valuables and stuff. And then I have a little base for this guy. They're both decorated rather than for functionality and you may have realized that it used to be for functionality if you've been paying attention but we'll get to why i changed that in a little bit but then we also have this nice little area here which i just it just looks nice we know this then we have our first mob farm the best one i believe but if you want to see what i think again i've made a video about these kind of things so you can always check my inventory is stuffed look how much stuff i got from that <laughs> oh my god okay then over here we have more things i made videos on the automatic wood farm and the automatic food farm then my other farming video i've done a lot of videos with this base man <laughs> then my other mob farm which gives even more things like i didn't have enough and then my other mob farm which i, I have a lot of mob farms man testing is hard <laughs> and then we have one more part of my base that we haven't explored yet to so go up through this nice hallway here nice lights then we have our first automatic door closes on its own we have our sorting system so all this stuff that i just got now we just do this so there's everything I want to sort, turn it on. There we go, it's sorting. My automatic smelter, if I wanted to smelt. And then my automatic cooker, if I want to cook some food. Which you can see I have some extras in here still. And that's pretty much the whole base. Look at it sorting through. So cool, I still love how it looks. And if you're interested in what game I'm running, I'm sure running the two Ivy clothes. Because the two Ivy clothes are actually really good. Because of the crit chance. Plus the set bonus which makes it so my critical hit chance increases even more after applying poison which i have the poison sickle which has a 28 percent chance and then as well you make sure to have this talent poisonous coated weapons which adds an extra 25 percent chance that's just a lot of crit then i have a scarlet helmet it's just some good health and armor plus a little bit of extra crit chance then i just use orb lantern but you could really use anything there then for these two this is what i use in my mining but what i normally use is sky ring moldering just to get as much crit chance as possible. And then the grub egg necklace kind of interchanges sometimes. And then obviously if I need to, I put on stuff like the ancient guardian necklace. Sometimes, or oh, the remedy necklace. Sometimes you just need to switch it up for certain bosses and that kind of thing. But for the most part, this is what I'll run. And yeah, that's my 100 hour core keeper journey. I've done basically everything there is to do in the game at this point. I don't really have anything left to do, really. Until more updates, that is. Because I know they have tons of plans. All I have left to do is max out every skill which i want to do but that's really hard <laughs> so i'll probably do it eventually but it'll take some time especially stuff like fishing oh my but yeah that's the video if you liked it make sure to do the like button leave a like button wow good job hit the like button and leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite part about this was if you want to see me do anything else on co-keeper maybe even play a different game i don't know if you enjoyed it and you want to see more gaming videos hit the subscribe button you know what it is it, uh, yeah just and then click one of these two videos on screen i'm gonna just let youtube decide what to put up there because i don't know so i hope you enjoyed and goodbye